I'm Dr. Glenda Overstreet Vaughn. I'll just share with you that the first time that I really uh, remembered hearing about Juneteenth was actually when I was an adult. Uh, it's sad, but it's definitely true. I did find out that uh, there were individuals in Texas who did not, uh, primarily slaves in Texas, who did not know uh, that the Civil War was over and that they were emancipated. Uh, and um, I also found out that there was a Union general by the name of Granger who um, actually went to Gaveston to let the slaves there know on June 18th, I believe, of 1865 that uh, they were actually freed. And so June uh, 19th came out of, uh, uh, no, Juneteenth came out of June 19th um, in that celebration that they had. So I was very pleased to be asked to come and speak uh, during a Juneteenth celebration that was held at, uh, at that time at Cushenberry Park. Uh, this is uh, an event that I have uh, chosen to sit down and really spend some time talking with my grandchildren about because I don't want it to be so long before they understand and know what Juneteenth is all about. I think it's important for us to be able to celebrate unity and freedom. Uh, however, we are finding out that freedom uh, comes at quite a cost uh, for our people. And so it becomes even more critical for us to be able to understand the events of the past. So, you know, we are still struggling even 155 years later uh, with the uh, not only the concept, but the true reflection of what freedom is all about.